Hello, welcome to my guide to automatically lip syncing audio tracks to your animated characters. And today we're going to have a look at a very basic animation just to show you the mechanics involved in setting up this process. I was going to start off with some drawings and I'll just rename this element into face and add a new drawing element. Call that eyes a new drawing element and call that nose and another last drawing element called mouth now under mouth I'm going to set up eight separate drawings in that element and they were going to represent uh, eight different mouth positions for certain talking sounds and shapes that your mouth makes when you talk so the first one is called A, and they have to be named this way, we'll see in a minute why. B, C, D, E, F, G, and X. The X one represents a nothing position, a expressionless position for the mouth. Now we'll draw the other parts. Firstly, the face. Over on the drawing view, I'm going to select the ellipse tool and draw the face. And I'm going to select the nose element now. And we'll draw our nose. Now there's a problem that we can't see the face and there's an easy solution to this. What we do is grab the face drawing and when I select it, it shows up on the drawing view but when I select the nose, it doesn't. So we can grab the face and drag it into the static light box and it has to be turned on at the top. You can see the icon for it up there. You can turn it on and off when you press it. It stays set in. Now anything that's in the light box will show up in the background. So we can now draw our nose and the face appears as a greyed out ghost image. It's, it's very handy for being able to, to get a reference to the rest of the face. And we'll just do our nose there. And We'll drag the nose into the static light box too, so it'll help us to draw the eyes. Select the eyes. Actually, the nose has moved into the wrong spot. We'll just drag that back up. Select the eyes element, and then we're going to draw an uh, image under the eyes element. Go back to the drawing view. One eye, two eye. And you'd probably normally put eyes on their own elements, like left and right. But for this, we're not going to animate the eyes, so it doesn't matter. To get some sound happening, we need to add an audio element. And that's up the top here. Or sound, it's called. And then we right-click on it. And instead of loading up a sound into the um, exposure sheet, we're going to right-click on that and click edit sound. And what happens now is dialog appears. You see the sound element editor dialog and we can import by clicking on import we can import the sound that we want and um, I'm just going to use one that I've prepared earlier. The sound appears up the top here and it looks just like any WAV file. We can move through it. You can see standard sort of WAV file there, stereo. Select that file and click streamed, which basically means the the file will just get used from the hard disk when it's needed. Usually when we're exporting the cartoon, click on lip sync. The software goes through the WAV file 
and identifies sounds within the WAV file that it thinks match up to its eight shapes that the mouse makes for those particular sounds. And these shapes you can see here. And when you draw your mouse shapes, try and map them to these because this is what the software is going to map your uh, pictures to these sounds. We'll see that in a minute. But uh, have these in mind. So A is um, a smile. There's no no sounds yet. B is slightly open. C is halfway between D, which is wide open. So uh, B, C and D are your generally just straight open mouth shapes. E is a different sort of sound. F's an O sound. Ooh, ooh. And then G is a F sound. And X is expressionless. It's just the, uh, the uh, no movement at all. So once we've selected the file up the top here, it should turn purple. Click the streamed box and click the lips, lip sync button where you can click OK.